Do you know how many nights in a year I sleep on my own? How many? A lot. Really? You don't want how to... many? How many days are there? 365 days in a year. I think maybe 300. Oh, wow. Mm. Almost all the days. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's... But you've learned to sleep like a... Like a baby. By yeah, yourself. I just don't have a second wife to fill my <laughs> to fill my bed like some, right? I don't like sharing my bed. Oh, I'd right. like to That's... get that number up. Let's do the whole 365. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So if you're potty, how can you spend so much time on in your bed alone? Oh, I don't sleep over often. And a lot of times my partners have primary, so they're like, I want to go back to my person. So okay. Works right. out for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's primary? Uh, a primary is a poly person's main partner. It can work different ways that you can have a primary and a secondary or tertiary partner, uh, or you can do solo poly where there's like a main person you see, but you could have children with someone else or marry someone else. But most people are poly and just have a primary that they like have a bank account with and live and, with. And how often do you see the primary? Ah, usually like once or twice a week. Those people usually are, are busier. <laughs> it's a lot of Google calendars mostly. <laughs> Uh, that's all polyamory is. Just a lot of work. Yeah, spreadsheets. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but what, what what made you kind of like take that path? Like, is it your work? Or is it really a faith in you? It's a need? What exactly? I like to blame my mom because she had a daycare in our house uh, for my whole life. From when I was two years old to 18, there were like 12 other kids I had to share my mom's love with. And so I very quickly just got used to the idea that like, Love doesn't need to be for one person. You can share it. Yeah, but like, do you think really you can share in a very equal way, in a very faith, fair way to everybody? I think you can, because I think equal and fair can be different for other people. Like, what one of my partner's primaries might want is going to be different from what I want. I'm really trying to learn from you things that I might have felt when I was younger, but yeah. I didn't take the same path. And yeah. it's just like practically, like, how does it work? Two wants to spend the night with you. Oh, and that's so uh, how do you do? Again, that's a Google, ca a Google Calendar yeah. situation. Google you know, Calendar so, spreadsheets. <laughs> so it has to, um, it has, so there are, so <laughs> there, there are. Interesting. Seems <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> so everything has to be articulated. Everything has to be said. Communicating. Yeah, every, Communication, every, Yes, right. very, in a very, yeah, in a contract and very, you know, so there's never like, you know, Hey, like, what are we? You know, that conversation, like, <laughs> where people are Oh my God, it's my day. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Because you have to say it out loud. Some ways people think of it as, just for you kind of do whatever you want. But if anything, there's more rules because if there's more people, you have to be very careful. Yeah. Let's say best case scenario. My two dream women come to me. Let's say Gal Gadot and my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> and they say, <laughs> That's very specific. Work very, very, specific. very specific, Julian. Now say, we know everything. You know, <laughs> and they say, we're in. We love you. Uh, let's become a trio. I would assume I would have a preference over one. I have preferences over everything. I'm always making lists of what I like more than other people. Um, so the idea that I wouldn't like one more than the other can, does it have to be a, I like one more than the other, or can it be, I like one in different ways? It's... That sounds nice, <laughs> but it has to be the first not one. Practical. Yeah. <laughs> not practical. Not practical, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the way but, that brains actually work is... My brain says, I'm choosing Gal Gadot. <laughs> okay. But Judaism is always pretty relaxed. Be fruitful and multiply. I grew up in a Catholic neighborhood. They were all terrified about fucking. I was not. Um, <laughs> But uh, I think it's just a society, more than religion, it's just society has said, this is how we do things. It's really very hard to bring something new in there that just kind of like, you know, shatters away a little bit, like the beliefs and the way we've been trying to live. I'm really interested in your <laughs> input, like as a woman, mm -hmm. as a Muslim woman as mm -hmm. well, as a choice you've done in your life mm -hmm. on both subjects, mm -hmm. right? So I think, so I came to Islam as a convert. When I became a Muslim, I knew that 
polygyny would be an option for a man that I might potentially marry. Okay. But I came into Islam not wanting to be married. And I think mm-hmm. there's a level of choice there. Um, so I, I knew coming in that I could make the choice to not be married at all and still be a good Muslim. I could also make the choice to be the second, third, fourth, first wife to a man. So these were conscious choices that I made. So polygyny is less of a prickly conversation for me Mm -hmm. because I've seen it done well. Right. I've seen it done horribly. Uh (laughs) So for me, I think when when I think about the romantic boundaries and relationships, it's less about what the relationship is called. And it's more about what are my choices? How am I relating to myself? And does this serve my needs? Because your ultimate relationship is to who? Yourself. Right. Let's say like a man married to a woman. She is the primary, right, mm-hmm. in the relationship. The man wants to go and take on another wife. Mm-hmm. She doesn't agree. Mm-hmm. What happens? Faith, faith-wise, because faith-wise. you talked about the religion mm-hmm. and you talked about the choice of faith mm-hmm. as a way of being. So mm-hmm. when you're faithful, you accept, mm. right? But you have choice. You have there choice. is no compulsion in religion. She does not have to accept the second wife, but she also has to accept that he has a choice and the choice might be then to dissolve the relationship. And I mean, it it seems very cut and dry, but like you do have a choice. You might not like the options that you have. So the man can have as many wives as he wants. No, not many. So actually, so actually, that's a good point. Not as many as he wants. That's a good point. The 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 ruling that came down in the Quran, it was actually to regulate what was happening in pre-Islamic Arabia. Men were just like, you get a wife, and you get a wife, and you get a wife. So it was like, pause. You don't need twenty-five. You can have four. Okay. So it was How did they land on four? I really have I a don't lot know. Of, so we have, to, like we have to wait to till judgment day and ask. Yeah. That's right. But I'll be there. But on so, the so, other so, end as a woman, four partners is usually what I like to work with. So I get it. Yeah. So maybe, <laughs> maybe there's some primordial so reasoning behind it. Can I ask you yes. like both yes. where does it come from? What what's the social reason uh, in faith for oh my, okay. the fact that a man can have like four women? And mm. in Islam that's what we say, right? Right, right. Mm-hmm. right. And so, women zero. Right. We're getting there, Jordan. Progress. Don't worry. Right. Don't panic. <laughs> Zero or one. I feel very relaxed. This fucking tea's really hot, though. I'll be trying to pour Literally. it four times. Uh, but the, 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 the bottom line, the most important part, is revelation. The, the ayah that came down came down after the Battle of Uhud. And there were a certain number of Muslim men who were killed. And so you had all of these women, you had all of these children at a time where it wasn't like 2022, like you had to have a protector. And so the revelation came down that you can marry one or two or three or four, but if you cannot deal justly with them, just marry one. And this was all a part of that contextual conversation about what do we do in this aftermath when our community has been decimated? So that is the context. And even though as a Muslim, I accepted that and I invited that into my life, it doesn't mean that I have to like it. If my husband calls me like on the way to the airport and he's like, hey, babe, by the way, I got a second wife waiting at home, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm taking this, you know, plane to somewhere else. Just send the kids to yeah, me. Yeah, it's very interesting because I think this is exactly what's happening in our um, episode about Ahmed wanting to, like, considering a second wife, basically, right. right? And I really want to know why, as a woman, as a Muslim woman, I don't have the same right. So, for example, there are, like, financial rights, for example, that I don't have, that my wife has o- over me, that I don't have over her. So I'm responsible for taking care of her financially. But she may make more money than me. She can keep her money, right? But I have to spend my money on her. It's not fair. It doesn't yeah. add up. It's not fair. Yeah. But I have to regulate myself to the revelation. If it's that beautiful and if it's that no problem sort of thing, why the American law is, like, against it? Well, I, well, I do want to say, I don't think polygyny is beautiful and no problem. I think it's complicated, complex. No, hearing, sorry, just like that, I want to correct myself. Mm-hmm. I think hearing what you say oh, yeah. about it... So the theory it of it is it, nice. Right. The yeah. practice yeah. of it, it is... beautiful. The practice right? of it is muddy and hard right. and heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. But I think, so... I'm just going to put some family business out on the table. We're <laughs> at the dinner table. My grandfather, we don't know how many children he had. 
My mom is 76 Same. years old. It's a it must be a Detroit thing. Right? Yeah, pretty much. My mother is 76. <laughs> she is still finding siblings. He had, we know for a fact, he had a family in New York. He had a family in Detroit. They knew about each other. They yeah. didn't like it. How is that not polygyny? That's not what it was called. It happens so much in America. We just don't call it yeah. that. It's like an open secret to, you know, Uncle Earl. What do, what do he brought call? his these six kids to the right. family reunion. Yeah. Yeah. These yeah. your cousins. Those not your cousins. Those are just siblings. siblings. Yeah. Like, so, so, you know, th this <laughs> argument that a lot of Muslims say, well, you know, we shouldn't engage in polygyny because it goes against American law. Well, so does a lot of things that we do in our Islamic practice. You know, I don't, I don't think putting our feet in the sink at, you know, Sears to make will do is, is legal either, you know, but, right. but we do it. But yeah. it's yeah. in American life, it's almost more acceptable to be monogamous and cheat on your wife yes. than to be, <laughs> to be polyamorous. Poly, yeah. po if I told my friends in Chicago, I grew up in an Irish Catholic neighborhood, if I said, guys, I'm poly, they'd say, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs>